All right, Proxy Table Gaming, PTG, Hyper G, and Lucky Ziggers. Shalom. Ooh, I like that one. I yeah. don't know if you've used it before. It was Probably. a little while ago if you have, but I do I like mean, that one. This is this is number 273, isn't it? So we, yeah, I mean, run it scrape in the barrel now. There's only so I mean, many uh, ways to say hello. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a good one. Speaking of good, we're all positive into breakthrough <laughs> day, two. day we, two. We've had a night's sleep. Uh, yes. Which, I mean, I was at Matty P, so it was like luxury, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's probably the best night's sleep you've had yeah. in a while, didn't it? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, it was great. Um, and it wasn't too early uh, on day two, although he did, um, Mikey did uh, quite rightly as well uh, move the times forward and the time rounds are now 20 minutes less uh, in right. four and five because there was a train strike just to help the. The London okay. guys, so that was sure. that was really cool of Mikey. Um, so was was that a factor in your quick warriors decision? I mean, not really? it probably meant I had less time at, um, to chill out after the battle <laughs> cause, sure. because most of my battles have done at least half hour less, yeah. you know, mm. Um, mm. than the actual time, uh, and that's purely down to warriors. It's point and click, yeah, and yeah. no shooting, hardly any magic. Um, mm. It's it's just it's pretty easy to play, but it's uh, very quick to play as well. Yeah. Um, Before we actually start this round, we're looking at looking at your barbarian block. Okay. First round, they ran off the board, sorcerers mm -hmm. included. Second round, they survived. I think. Uh, second round, no, no, I I lost everything too. Oh, yeah, but they, no but they were yeah, yeah. they were being a good bunker. Sure. Um, Third round, the barbarians died, but the sorcerers survived. So that's kind yeah. of a a pass. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. Just thought I'd yeah, catch it was, up. It was really just it, only the one against Matty where uh, they failed to... No, the eight beat yeah. discipline. Yeah. yeah. Um, or seven. There's a few no, of them actually eight. going around. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but we forget about that. We move on. We do. We're all and positive. We play New SA, which is cool. Ooh, um, is well, it, and it's good. Simon Bromley. Never played him oh, before. Nice. So we're... Yeah, we're doing all right for armies and everything variety wise. Yeah, I've not played Simon either, actually. So, <clears throat> mm. um, oh, lovely chap, isn't he? Yeah, really, really, really cool to play. Uh, you know my list by now, Killy Lord. Yeah, I don't want to look at your list. I want the Victorian adepts. list. Come on, move on, move on. And the Richard <laughs> ones, um, chosen really need to do chosen things. Oh, don't I will know. say that. Um, yeah, onto his list, and Ooh, there is no general as you'd expect. No, um, there is a Tegu veteran who. It's, it's all right. He's at five up, five up, basically. Oh, no, four up, five up, basically. He's got a okay. weapon yeah, yeah. and rod of battle. He's a, he's a cheap guy just to add a bit of extra attacks to the Tegu Warriors. Two of them yeah. uh, with spears, uh, champion standard, and banner of speed, so a bit quicker. Um, yeah. He's got a skink veteran uh, with magnetic shortbow chameleon. Is just chaff, and he was very open sure. about that. He says, yeah, he's just going to chaff you. <laughs> and I was like, all right, okay. does he go in the skink get rid of it? He's like, No. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, right, okay. um, yeah, yeah. Then he has, as I said, skink gorillas. He's got a, a unit of baby caimans from Gorm, yeah, yeah. Uh, with halberds, and he's got two big, big caimans, elders, uh, elder and, and, caiman units with great weapons, um, and they're rocking magic as well. And those are rocking magic. So he's uh, and they get two each um, mm. spells each. So he's got five spells uh, all in all. Yes, although uh, the elders have to choose two of three each. Yeah. So. So, there will be a duplicate. Uh, he in that. duplicates duplicates Savage Fury so that each one can okay. have Savage Fury, and okay. one has the Hereditary, the other has um, Summer Growth. Summer Growth, correct. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wasn't too scared of the magic no. potential. It's not like uh, I I consider the magic being one of the biggest pluses of the new SA book. So the fact that yeah. it isn't there, however, he has got a hell load of a attacks and mm. wounds and big stuff at high strength with high AP. Well, I don't, I don't know if I missed it, but Triple Taurosaur. <laughs> well, I haven't <laughs> you know? mentioned that yet. And obviously, no, and the Triple Taurosaur really scares my Chosen um, more than anything. Um, and my the great impact hits, yeah. Uh, 3d3 uh, impact hits. And if he... So my, my uh, I'm looking at the list and he's got Monothotism, which is BSB. Um, mm -hmm. So fair enough. Engineering Ancients, which is... Shooting attack. Shooting attack, which is actually quite good against me as well. Um, it was, it's a two by two, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, so against actually against chosen knights, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Taurus all with loads of shield, which won't come into effect as five up against range shooting. So. Um, yeah. Not again, magic. minor victory. Whoop whoop. 
<laughs> yeah, 30 points, you're winning. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking at the list and I'm like, you know what? I can probably one on one, I can take anything. I However, think so. Three Taurosaurs going into anything of mine yeah, yeah, will, yeah. is really, really bad. So I've got to look at what my wretched ones can stop and stuff like that. And I'm thinking about that um, before the deployment. And I go, okay, cool. And I know I've got to just drop for first if I can. Um, and isolate. And stuff, yeah. Uh, we played Refused Flank, so the diagonal and Breakthrough. Breakthrough's not too bad, but it's not too bad for him either. Um, mm. we're close. He's got a lot of scoring, hasn't he? So yeah, a lot of scoring, and we're close. And I, so I'll need to be able to pick off his scoring where possible. Um, this is, and I'll move us down here out the way next to Skinky Boy um, on the left side. Uh, so he's got a oh, Skinky, yeah. and even further, uh, well, actually, yeah, next to him, I'll do him first. Uh, so Skinky Boy uh, scouting. Then he's got some skinks in the forest. Then a Taurosaur. Then the big Kaimans, then uh, little Kaimans behind oh, Tegu they Warriors. They look so little. Yeah. <laughs> Tegu Warriors with the Lord in, um, with the veteran, sorry. Then a Taurosaur, then the Tegu Warriors without the Lord, then big Kaiman, then Taurosaur. So immediately, Ooh, regardless Taurosaur of that, splittage. the Taurosaurs have already been split up, so I don't have to split them up. However, now they will be able to clip. So um, I've got to be, I've got to be careful. But... All in all, I'm a bit happier with yeah. that scenario because I won't have three lots of three d three impact hits. <laughs> it is it's absolutely. It is. Yeah. Um, I've got chosen on a hill, uh, chosen knights on a hill. Sorry, then wretched ones next to them, warriors, chosen, wretched ones, and the barbarians a little bit further back because I didn't want him to scout behind me. Although yeah, makes in sense. hindsight, what are they going to do if they get behind me? Yeah, I mean, my 10 chameleons couldn't blink your white barbarians off <laughs> yeah, the board. So, so. Um, but I didn't think it mattered too much because I wouldn't be marching a full eight. And even if I was, I'd be with an 18 and yeah, 24. That's all you the needed. big change in this day is that I change from rerolls to hit to Whispers of the Veil. Sure. Um, for the so discipline. Yeah, set. that makes sense. So my magic is uh, for people that seems I've got two alchemy spells of being Glory of Gold and Word of Iron. And then I've got uh -huh. two Evo spells of being um, now blades. Whisper the, of the Veil and Spectral Blades. Whisper of the Veil as well, because that helps more with the Wretched, one, wretched Ones. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so it means I've got two spells that can help them, whereas the rerolls to hit wouldn't help them at all. So yeah, trying, sure. to, trying to be able to do that and minus one discipline, hoping that I can break stuff. Because uh, even though it's got decent rerolls and whatever, um, it is, the issue isn't high. So no, it's a maximum of eight. Yeah, so so I hope in fact I'm not sure he's got any eight. Has he had the climb? No, he's got no eight apart from the Tegu veteran. Sure. Tegu veteran's the only eight, isn't that? Um, but so, yeah. he gives it out in certain places and stuff as well. But sure. um, but yeah, so there's that. So I'm hoping that that will help more. And obviously with the Taurosaurs and uh, things that will help. I didn't realize Cayman Elders were only Res four though. I'm I'm disappointed by that. Um, that being the case, um, I'm not too scared of them because they're great weapons so everything is exactly mine they haven't even got great armor before. so yeah um apart from the great weapon warriors which are mano and mano with the tegu warriors so they probably yeah. won't come into play so i'm actually yeah. mm. i'm actually pretty happy with i mean it makes sense because they're like agility one or two anyway but um yeah 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 I mean, for me that is a big factor as to why i will not be playing herman elders as solitary units anytime soon yeah if the, i play um, them they're going to be inside tegu so yeah, I mean most my stuff really, and if I'm getting that a rest three, even better, you know, even the wretched ones. Yeah, feel yeah, yeah. Against them, so yeah. Um, overall, I don't think the matchup is particularly good. However, on deployment, I it's think okay, yeah. things are sort of split up a bit more. Mm. Um, but I mean, anything could happen if he gets multi charges. Regardless, that's uh, yeah. To try yeah. and minimize that, but yes. Uh, we move on, and it's my wretched ones. There they go. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, I'll put a firework up their bottoms. They're like, right, guys, we're going to help you out today. And uh, they, they go... That's three, three battles in a row. Yeah, got so fight. they go 17. Obviously, the reroll helps, but it's always on the, se the second one that they get a 17 or a 15 or something. Um, yeah. The other ones on the right still move quite far. I think they move like 13, 14. Um but I mean, just yeah, are outdone, <laughs> I guess, by the other ones uh, who so. are in the middle. Um, pretty happy with that. Uh, the chosen knights decide to stay on the hill for a reroll yeah. uh, yeah. thing because I, I don't. They're, think... they're constantly having to like 
Oh, the richer ones are gone again, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, the chosen go behind the hill so that the things can't charge me in the front and uh, charge my chosen directly. Um, because uh-huh. I want to set up a ch- counter charge and I can move past the richer ones again. I'm just thinking, I don't think he kills 18 wounds with a five up save, and he's got no flaming from what I can tell. Sure. So, I mean, the the ones on the left that have gone crazy, I think if he gets all, all that stuff in, will yeah. probably die. But the ones on the right, I don't think he can kill me outright, um, which means I'll have a, a charge with my one of my units, um, and he'll have mm-hmm. to be on the hill with something. So I'm, I'm, I'm banking them. They're not dying, really. But uh, yeah, sure. 18 wounds with a 5 up, so basically 24 wounds. I don't, I don't think he can do that. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, on a very on a good day, it could happen. But yeah. I would say on average, you wouldn't expect it. Yeah. Um, I also get whispers of the veil off in this, which uh, will helps. help me in terms of combat res because, mm. I mean, my my rich ones are now wounding him on threes, yeah. so it's just that's just so good. Uh, and I kind of when I, I got this off, and I was like, why haven't I had this spell? Yeah. Like it's just it's so it seems it seems so obvious now, but I changed yeah. it for the leadership really, um. But it the the res really helps the wretched ones there. Um, I also get word of iron off, so a decent magic phase. Nice. Um, I think yeah. it's only one because uh, I only had like a couple of dice left. But um, but yeah, uh, always have just to stop any silly long charges uh, from their point of view or any no uh, silliness, please. Yeah, no silliness. So he double charges. Um, to get in, uh, it's worth a shot. It's so, worth a shot. Um, we'll see what happens there. And he double charges, not triple charges, uh, but double charges over here, um, flank and uh, front. Um, again, I'm like they do have to do quite well to do eighteen wins, but they probably have the amount of sheer amount of attacks uh, to yeah. do it here. You could kill a decent amount of Tegu back though. Yeah, although they're they're four up armor. They're both triple charge armor. are there. Oh, so, uh, yes, he did then. I uh, just didn't put it down. So this one goes into them as well. Um, yeah. Probably not wanting to go into the Warriors direct. But but yeah, again, I'm thinking, well, even if they do kill them to a man, I've got Chosen Knights into something over there, mm-hmm. um, and I'm pretty close, so I should be able to get one thing. And Maybe there'll be an overrun somewhere as well. Who knows? Um, yeah. He chaffs with his other Tegu Warriors without the veteran in. Um, to stop my warriors doing anything, um, basically. Uh, and as you can see on the right, I should have a, a counter charge into the flank um, if he doesn't kill my wretched ones. And that is the, the big if. Um, his yeah. climbing warriors at the back uh, have to shuffle over a bit because they don't they kind of get in the way, um, the warriors, because I was so close, basically. Um, so, and that rounds it off. Um, I'll move us so you can see some uh, chameleon chaff that. We can't quite chaff at the minute, but we'll we'll do very soon. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Um, he gets uh, something on these guys. What would it be? The hereditary minus one to wound. Yeah, I think. could be um, minus one to hit unless it's boosted. We would have boosted it because the minus one to hit. Yeah, yeah, minus one to hit won't help. So, yeah, um, yeah and um, with all his shooting, including the taurosaur and stuff, uh, he, he does. Bad. He kills three wounds of unchosen knight, like, which is really good. It's yeah, really yeah. Good. Um, over here, he doesn't kill them. He does. Okay, that's all you needed. Yeah. Fourteen wounds, uh, mm-hmm. and I, I only do. Oh, they've got four each, haven't they? So I do seven wounds, um, which is good enough. Uh, but the main thing is they didn't die. I've got a flank charge, and I'll probably yeah. have an overrun as well. Um, so we're we're looking pretty good actually on that side, and Richard ones have done their job of holding up. Uh, yeah, that's all they were really going to do in this game. Over here, I I I do exactly yeah. the same. I lose fourteen wounds, which is strange. I mean, the extra amount of attacks and stuff I have on them, and I'm, uh, I mean, I I do four wounds. I think I go against the Kaiman elders just because I want them gone. Um, but yeah, yeah. so uh, oh okay, they they uh, it says two on the Taurosaur, but I'm pr- do I do two wounds as well? Something had to attack him. One had to attack him. So the maybe one I've at done... the back right had to attack him. Yeah, maybe him. I've done that as well. So well, that's um... pretty good going when you're wounded on sixes and yeah, three exactly. up armor save. So um, I, yeah, I, I'm very happy. I'm I'm very happy and surprised that they're still actually in the battle um, as well. Yeah. Uh, so 
onto my turn, I charge, I charge, I charge, I charge. Oh, I thought that was going to be a picture of your chosen nuts failing the charge. Yeah. Don't do that to um, me. I mean, I think I need a three on a re-roll with Swift Stride. You got a champion? <laughs> yeah, or, or whatever it is. It's really small. Uh, I yeah. don't have a champ, so that would be all There you go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I go into the Kaimen Elders because I think, that, like, they'll have five wounds because they'll kill the wretched ones, but then I'll probably you guys get, get an uh, overrun into something. Um, yeah, and also I'm and hoping you might my... lose one on the way in, which means the Taurosaur won't be able to count charge them. Yeah, I'm also hoping that my warrior is getting over into the flank of the Taurosaur as well. That would yeah. be lovely. I'm only like five inches away, so that would be great. Mm -hmm. um, over here, I get Glory of Gold and Alchemy, so I get rerolls to Wound, and that should spell the end of the Carmen Elders. Um, yeah. And it's a decent amount of wounds, actually. It's, uh, say, four by five, so 20 wounds is still quite a lot. Um, mm. but uh, it's more of in terms of combat res and now I am hoping that the wretched ones die so that all the other combat res doesn't uh, affect anything um, I I kill the elders over here to a man um, oh and the wretched one survives on one the wound. wretched one survives on one wound as well and I overrun into the uh, Taurus Yeah, so everything... I guess you're still in touch with the Taurus so the wretched one will probably still die unless uh, yeah. well I go dead. first though because this counts yeah. as a new charge, um, so it probably won't. I, I'm mm. pretty confident of doing, even if it was full wounds, I think it's got one on him, but I'm pretty confident yeah. of doing six wounds to a Taurosaur at this point. Yeah. Um, but right. I've been proven wrong before. Uh. Uh, I go over here, and it's it's auto-break um, yeah. uh, with this. Uh, but I don't you got seven I'm wide uh, for yes, the I first did, time. Yeah. yeah, I did. Again, a few changes up in this. In this uh, mm. And I don't catch them. And I don't overrun into the Taurosaur, ah. which okay, which is bad because it now means that my chosen knights might have to eat two Taurosaur charges if things, depending on mm. what goes on this combat. So I was like, oh, I just, I just needed that, I just needed that. But yeah. uh, it's going well so far, so I, sw I shouldn't complain. Uh, over here, and this was really harsh on Simon. So okay. We did it up, and I won by uh, what's the leadership eight with all these now because of the so I won by five overall. Right, yeah. And with every single one of his units, he rolled three. He except held... the common elements. No, no, he held with everything. He double wand with the common oh, elders. I was going to say he got three. So on, this was like not the actual rolls because it was um, minimized. Right, yeah, these are your stuff. dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but. We then realised that the wretched one had died. Right. So, so I didn't move him. Multiple in different combats. Because of, we were just cutting up. So actually, he doesn't get the plus three combat res. Plus no. two uh, or three from the ranks. Uh, ranks and banner because they're now not in or a flank or anything like that. Which yeah. meant which meant the Tegu warriors and the Taurus were fine because they don't have to test their out combat, they but the, the elders combat, yeah. automatically break, which is really harsh. Once we after we did the rolls, especially it, if you roll in those low numbers, because we were like, breaks, "Oh, yeah. well done, that's awesome!" You've and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm really sorry." The because yeah. we went there to clean up, and then when I was like, "Oh yeah, he's gone," so you don't get the yeah. thing. So it was really I, you harsh, know, but... I'm really bad at no knowing that rule and yeah. who overruns and whatnot and what combat doesn't continue but yeah i mean it helped so. i think it was a thing with wes when that happened against me so yeah, it was yeah. like a bit when you've been burned it's <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was just it was really harsh because he made all of them it was like yeah oh that's right and obviously the elders ran um like that and i overran into uh his taking warriors which is fair enough it also meant yeah. i was out of line of sight of the other one yeah definitely. Uh, the other Taurosaur as well um which it, it just seemed ultra harsh on him the way mm. the way it panned out but i was pretty happy there um at least to I, i'm not sure the chosen knights will survive the rest of the battle but they have definitely held up enough so that my warriors yeah. can clean up um so yeah i was uh, a good turn for me for sure yeah yeah uh with Blinky Blinky, um he, he kills off two barbarians, two warriors onto his turn. Okay. He does go in with the Taurosaur over here. Uh, I think he thought about doing a long charge into the barbarians if we go back. Uh with yeah, the well, yeah. Taurosaur, but I, I I think it was just too too much of a risk. So he was like, you know, I'm just gonna move them up and cause you issues mm. there. Um 
after combat, I do a bunch. He does a bunch um, uh, of wounds, uh, and that's how it ends up after combat. But I run. He pursues with the Taurus or holds with the warriors, and I get run down. And uh, so, I mean, they, they killed a lot of stuff, but they died in the end. Um, but pretty close to getting their points with the elders. So, uh, and a Taurus or's out position. They're not going to charge me, so I, I'm I'm pretty happy with the exchange. He, he also rallies with the uh, small warrior block uh, that I've already beaten, uh, which is probably actually a bit worse for him. Uh, I charge them, hoping for an overrun and out of line of sight of everything for counter charges. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the chosen, I think, they yeah, overrun so. Must have maybe we forgot to do that combat, or I've done loads of wounds and just got to polish it off. Whatever, I'm not sure. Yeah, because we'll you see. move your barbarians now. Yeah, but we possibly forgot. But your wretched one hasn't died. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's what I mean. So if it if it, if it survived, it would have. But anyway, um, I get glory gold off and I put alchemy alchemical fire on the guys behind because I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill these guys and I want it for his turn basically to have yeah. some yeah. re rolls to wound. Uh, it's only to clear up the. Um, the the ones that you get though, but uh, it all helps. Uh, I killed the Taurosaur at this point. Yeah. Uh, and turn to face for the rest of the battle. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, even two Taurosaurs, I think I could just about do. Um, but yeah. I, but I will just endeavour not try to try and go one at one at a time really. Uh, but they've they've done chosen things. I cannot be happier. Uh, with them. definitely. Uh. I move up the barbarians as far as possible out the way. They're on project run mm -hmm. now. Um, the wretched one will soon go into the corner as well. Um, but not much else they can do, and I don't want to lose their points. Um, the for him, uh, so I, I I do clear up the warriors in the middle, and I overrun into Kaiman El elders. Uh, sorry, Kaiman warriors or whatever they're called. Um, baby Kaiman. He Kaiman warriors, yeah. r rallies his elders at the back. Moves okay, up, that's a bit uh, of an over, yeah. over the next two turns, uh, and he's basically turned everything to face my warriors. Uh, obviously, having a mm. multi multi charge would be really bad, so uh, trying not to have that. Uh, he gets Rod of Battle off uh, as his spell here on them, um, yeah, yeah. which he does go first. Well, after my well, war, my lord, but before my great weapon dude. He's so, got tooth and claw as well. So is he hitting on two? Uh, he's or? halberds. Oh right, okay, yeah. No, so no yeah, um, but he does a few wounds to me. To be fair, he does like five wounds to me, but I kill the unit um, mm -hmm. except for one wound. Uh, he runs, and I I think I overrun. Oh no, I don't. I turn to face. Uh, like You've still so, got a decent chunk of his army to face, yeah. Yeah, so um, I don't want like any silly flank charges or anything like that. So I turn to face and I managed to get out of line of sight of at least one Taurosaur. Uh, yeah. I put the, my Lord on this side as well so that he can face the Taurosaur if needed. I've still got the Idle Spite. Um, and yeah, it kind of looks like this after I think turn four. Um, the breakthrough wise, I'm looking good. Um, I've got the, the Barbarian Warriors are hoping to run around the Chosen and turn okay. six. Okay, that's in, a good use for them. Uh, the Chosen are an inch away from the deployment zone, but want to be on the hill for charge reasons, and obviously the Warriors are in at the minute. Uh, yeah. And then, as opposed to his three scoring units facing backwards, uh, I'm pretty sure the objective is on. Um, mm -hmm. I'd again, say so. Uh, I, 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 I really think I'm out of line of sight of this other Taurus or but I can't remember. I'm honest. Well, the red one. Yeah, it doesn't look no. it, but I I thought I remember being out of them. Okay. I thought, but yeah. Anyway, uh, he just turns to face. This might be after com. I don't know because this is that must. Oh, that was on his turn, wasn't it? Because I overran. That's sure. Right. So going back. So now you've got a turn. So this was yeah, on yeah. his turn because he brought a battle done. Yeah. Then I turned to face. To be yeah. like this, it's now and my then it's turn. Now it's your turn. Yeah, yeah. I charge fair. here, uh, in which he flees. I think I've got okay. a feeling he flees uh, because I have a second charge there, or maybe he fled with his elder. Yeah. Um, but either way, I get I charge one of them, they flee, and then the other one redirect into the other. 
runs off. Uh, so it must have been that way around. Uh, I go yeah. into the Warriors. I'm pretty happy because I will quite easily be out of line of sight of the two Taurusors at this point. Uh, and then he's got uh, his Kaiman Elders rallying on half leadership and his Kaiman Warriors rallying on half leadership. So I'm hoping I get both of those just for a, yeah. a thing. Um, and then I should have Warriors from this side chosen from... Uh, or Warriors from his side chosen from the flank against two Taurusors. Mm. Uh, and the chaff, obviously, but yeah. Um, he, I kill the unit. Uh, I get word of iron off to try and keep as many points as possible. Uh, and he only has his lord who flees, but turns to uh, and ends up there. He is facing the other way, but on his yeah. turn rallies because he's a single unit now. Sure, so, yeah, uh, rallies quite easily. You wanted one Tegu yeah, warrior yeah. to survive with um, it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, uh, but. Luckily, uh, my lord can get past the thing and see, can see him just. Um, okay. So uh, we have that. Uh, over here, he moves up both. Uh, in fact, I think he might have d uh, double charged the chosen on like a double six and an 11 and failed both. I okay. think that might, that might what happened. Um, uh, and if I move us, uh, you can see he's chaffed with his single dude on my chosen yeah. and yeah. moved up to the flank. Uh, to go that way, so there's that as well. Yeah. Uh, on my turn, I we go Lord and Lord, and I'm pretty happy with that matchup. Uh, yeah, because he's not. He's only got a. He'll only have a five up save. Uh, yeah. And I've got like nine attacks because I've get mm -hmm. my idle spite. So, uh, with that, uh, that's all I do. I think I move back with my chosen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Have, probably job done for them. Yeah, and the barbarians get into the deployment zone with my warriors soon to soon to follow as well. Looks like the single Kaim and the Kaim and warriors fled off the board, but the elders are still running. Yeah, they're still running, um, but on half leadership, I think. Uh, so then we've got magic, and I get two buffs on them. So if he does go in, that makes me even better. He, should, he probably won't. Mm -hmm. uh, my lord kills his lord for right. days, uh, and uh, this is him trying to run basically and chaffing me and trying to run yeah yeah that's fair enough uh on my turn i charge his guy and he flees oh um i think hoping that i pass i failed the redirect okay uh to get in but i do have a fairly long charge but it, i think it's like a 10 but mm -hmm. it's re-rollable because of the hill uh into the flank of his taurus or uh because of it and I get in. So, okay. yeah, I mean, that's, that's not a bad position. This is the last turn, so nothing else will happen after this. Uh, yeah. Uh, but that's a pretty good spot for the Chosen. Yeah. Um, I get, just to com compound the misery, I guess, <laughs> um, I get uh, two spells off, including rerolls to Wound, which is the key one, um, yeah. and pop the Taurusaur, Nice. Or some extra last minute points. Uh, Excellent. Which is really, really good. Uh, and chosen by far and away um, men of the match. Well done. <laughs> they, they. This was their kind of fight, wasn't it? They yeah, it flank was, charged yeah. elders. They flank charged Taurusaur. They flank charged Taurusaur. Yeah. I mean, you know, not that they've. Yeah, that's that's what they're well. But, they're but doing, they, you know what? They were in favourable fights before, and they weren't doing it. I gave them the hair dry treatment. True. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know they've listened, and you know what they've stepped up and done a job. So well Good. done, well done, guys. Uh, yeah, I I won the objective. I got a decent amount of points, uh, and it ended up a nineteen-one mm. to me against other things. Again, really yeah. lovely to play, Simon. Uh, first time we played, uh, and it was really nice to uh, have. Did the games. wretched one survive? The wretched one survived on half points. So the first that's, time that's the wretched ones have done that. Um, yeah. Well then, him. So I only lost seven hundred and fifty points rather than a thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, to that, uh, and obviously the chosen knights died as well. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm. Was it. I think maybe half points for the warriors. But re regardless of what it was, it was nineteen one. Uh, fun mm. battle, and it gives me a chance. It gives you a it chance. So your chance. max is now fifty five. Fifty five is, right? is my max. If I <laughs> okay, we're still aiming high. We're still aiming high. So yeah. Um, Great. We, did you yeah. feel you were more relaxed in this fight? or um, I, I think um, I was happy with how deployment went. 
I think yeah. that helped me out, helped me single out a lot of things. Uh, and getting the first turn really helped because it meant I could put the pressure on them. And Wretched Ones did that as well. So I had a bit of luck. I think with this, I had a bit of luck and deployment was good. So it, it nothing went wrong either. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Apart from the um, overrun with the Warriors, I, where you didn't it go was, into the Taurus Orb. But... Yeah, it, it was a good punch up, and both lists want to fight. And I think perhaps yeah. in that scenario, the Taurosaurs being apart was bigger than yeah, yeah. What even what I thought at the start? Because um, mm -hmm. I wanted to, I, I would have tried actively to split them up or have them one at a time in yeah, combat. Yeah. Um, but that didn't need to in the end, which that was yeah. very nice. And there was a couple of times when I was luckily out of line of sight and things like that. Um, so. Yeah, uh, things just went my way for Simon. Um, and then that bit with all the uh, break tests, him passing it, and then re us realising as well was harsh as well. But, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, it was a... Uh, but, no, uh, Simon was lovely even uh, even with that as well. So um, I'd be looking forward to playing him again. Definitely, yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm sad that Saurians have lost, but, you know... I'll, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let it go yeah. it was an interesting desperate, list but... <laughs> actually I'd probably increase the magic if possible um, yeah. even on the core units maybe mm. Um, mm. just to give a bit more magic support but uh, I mean yeah, it was a really interesting take on the Saurians so it's mm. really cool uh, we, and again this one ended quite quickly um, so yeah. uh, we had a bit of time to chat and about the Saurians and stuff and saying about how you know, no one really knows what's good at the minute, so it's nice to try and see different things and who's doing what. So definitely, yeah, really good. Great. Cool. So give us some comments on that one. Predict for round five is the is the comeback on yeah, the cards. Right. Place your bets the now. Sixes. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, um yeah, just don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. Hit us up on all the social medias as well. <laughs> um mm -hmm. yeah, because that's fun. Um Twitter's probably your best one, the most active one uh, in terms of that, obviously, apart from YouTube. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah, uh, otherwise, um, check, make sure you check out all our content as well, all the extra bits. We're trying to do a bit more uh, content outside of Bat Reps as well, uh, yeah. and that'll continue for next year. Uh, so let us know what, what sort of content you want to see um, and whether you're enjoying what we're doing as well. Definitely, definitely. Great. Let's roll into round five of Breakthrough. See you later.